So the study conclusions are that lymph node metastases associated with occurrence, again, not sort of uh, groundbreaking. We all know that already from other studies. Um, it seems like there's a variable association with uh, lymph node metastases with mortality. And then it seems like it stratifies a little bit further out by, um, by uh, BRAF status. So particularly in conventional papillary thyroid cancers, when you have wild type BRAF and lymph node metastases, this does not seem to be associated with mortality, but the presence of both the mutation and also lymph node metastases are associated with mortality. And so there, there are points in the discussion about, you know, is there um, some added prognostic significance uh, of lymph node status uh, related to survival? Uh, and it again brings around this sort of age old question of whether or not we should be doing prophylactic CNDs when BRAF B600D is present, and really for prognostic reasons uh, versus, you know, therapeutic reasons. Um, I think this is debatable. I, I know I, I'm not sure that I completely agree with that. Um, and certainly we can talk about that a little bit further. There are many limitations to this study. Um, we're really only looking at BRAF here, and I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the other uh, important mutations in a second. Um, all lymph nodes were lumped into one category, so we don't really know if these are central or lateral, if they were, um, if this, these were taken out therapeutically or prophylactically. And I think that that is an important point. Um, we certainly know that there are a lot of microscopic um, uh, lymph node uh, metastases uh, deposits that aren't necessarily clinically significant, and being able to stratify which uh, of these lymph nodes are really really in those categories, I think is, is ultimately going to be important. Uh, and along that same line, not everybody got uh, a lymph node dissection. And so is there any, are we just really talking about macroscopic disease or, or do we really care about occult lymph node metastases, which is what really prophylactic node dissections are really looking at. Um, so I think, you know, before making any, I think, clinical decisions, I think there's still some, some outstanding questions that remain to be uh, discussed, which I'm sure uh, Dr. Bukai will talk a little bit further about. 